In the last few months of 2019, triggering news from China had grabbed the world's attention. China was reporting many cases of severe flu, dry cough before getting pneumonia, and soon this rising trend was pronounced by Chinese scientists as a new virus named COVID-19, or coronavirus. Please make sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel for more informative videos. Where did the COVID-19 come from? Upon investigating the origin of this virus, doctors and scientists traced its origin to a market in Wuhan, China. This market is named the Huanan Market. What is more surprising and worrisome is that the patients who were among the first ones to get infected with COVID-19 had visited this market. Out of the 41 patients, 27 had been there. In response to this, the Chinese government has shut down this market as a precautionary measure. We see that COVID-19 is spreading worldwide at an exponential rate. As of now, 71 countries have been infected and the death toll has reached 3,127. Why is COVID-19 spreading from China? A majority of the contagious diseases have actually originated from animals. Now with regards to the exponential growth of coronavirus, it is being said that it must have first gone from the bat to a pangolin before transferring to human beings. But in order to spread, the animals and humans may need to encounter each other at one point. Now this is where the Wuhan market comes in. Wet markets such as Wuhan slaughter and sell meat of all kinds of animals, including the wildlife. Such an environment makes it easy for such zoonotic diseases to spread from animals to humans. Why are the animals in China's wet market spreading new diseases? These wet markets in China do not have adequate hygiene standards with regards to the livelihood of animals. Animals are kept in dirty cages that are stacked upon one another. Animals at the bottom of the cages are soaked with all kinds of liquids such as animal feces, blood, and pus. The particles from these liquids transfer to the animals in the other cage, thus giving room for more bacteria growth. If the animal is now consumed by humans, there is a potential chance of the virus outbreak. The reason why animals from all over the world are kept in wet markets is because of the Chinese government's decision decades ago. In the 1970s, poverty levels in the country were very high because of the famine which killed more than 36 million people. The Communist government of China was unable to feed its large population, and in 1978, private farming was allowed in China for the first time. At the same time, a wildlife protection law was introduced, which said that animals were natural resources, which means they could be used for human consumption. This was the start of the boom of the wildlife farming industry in China. The government had provided full support to this initiative since it was eradicating poverty and feeding the population. However, here's the dangerous part. More farmers mean a wide variety of animals and ultimately more viruses on the farm. Animals from these farms were transported to the wet markets and sold at a pretty high profit margin. By the 2000s, the wildlife farming industry of China was booming when the unexpected happened. The SARS outbreak had once again started from the wet market in China named Foshan. Scientists found out that the virus had originated from kivet cats. There was a temporary ban on wildlife. In 2003, the sale and consumption of the meat from these wet markets added up to $100 billion of China's GDP. In 2018, the industry reached a staggering $148 billion. Now with the COVID-19, the Chinese government has put a temporary ban, but experts have suggested to ban them permanently. All in all, until there is a permanent ban on the wildlife farming industry in China, such virus outbreaks are bound to happen in the world. Do you know anyone who was infected with COVID-19? How are you taking care of yourself and your loved ones during quarantine? Let us know in the comments below.